Uh, Tennessee, of course, practice test for Algebra 1. This is question number 63. Which expression is equivalent to 3x over the square root of 3? In this case, we can't leave square roots in the denominator. It just can't happen mathematically. So in order to get rid of square, uh, the square root, I have to find a square because the square root represents the side of a square, and a square represents how many parts there are. So to cancel that square root out, I need to square that term, which is it times itself. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3x over the square root of 3. I need to s multiply this times itself. So they both get multiplied by square root of 3. Now the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, it's almost like, um, which is square root of 3 squared, so it would look a bit like this. In this situation, the square root and the squaring actually cancel each other out, so all you're left with is that 3 on the bottom. And then you end up with this 3x times square root of 3 thing. Not quite done yet, almost finished. Um, now we have to see if there's anything on the top and the bottom that we can eliminate. So what we're going to do is, there's a 3 here and a 3 here. 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so those actually cancel out, and you're left with x times the square root of 3, which is d. Very simple. If you lose your mind on test day, you're a very bad test taker, say, you don't have anything else to do, you're a good math student, but you want to do better on the test, you can do this. If x is, hit your, whatever your button is for, my button is here for my, uh, when I graph, if I need to use an x, it's for my variable. I can hit it, as long as it's not zero, and once again, if it is, go up and graph something, 3x plus 5, and hit graph, and it'll change it. It doesn't matter what number it turns it into. And then you just do 3x divided by the square root of 3. And you get 17.32, just make a little note to yourself on your paper. And then you just go through and try all your answers. Well, x is 10, x divided by 3 is this. Um, I'm going to put parentheses there just to show the whole top. That's a little bit of a tricky one for me to write, but it is what it is. That's not what I want, but this is. This is 17.32, so does this. So when the answer and the answer choice and the question give you the same number, that's the answer. So the answer is D. That's it.